Hello, my name is Jennifer Jones Vanderleest and I am a 2023-24 Doctors for America Jean Capello Health Advocacy Fellow. I'm a family physician who works for Public Health Seattle King County and I also am a clinical associate professor of health systems and population health at the University of Washington. When I was a medical student, I remember being told that physicians were not supposed to be political or involved with advocacy. This was in the mid to late 1990s. I had already been involved in HIV activism, so I rejected this advice and subsequently have woven in patient and community advocacy into my work throughout my career. Today, I would like to share with you what I appreciate about participating in the fellowship and some of the things that I've done during this time. During the fellowship, I've appreciated working with creative, thoughtful physicians and medical students, residents from all over the country. We've been able to practice our advocacy skills with experienced teachers, many of whom are thought leaders. We've learned practical approaches to working with elected officials, and we've focused on continued action and outcome rather than just learning the process. As a medical educator, I wanted to use my time in the fellowship to build some infrastructure for advocacy education in the Seattle area. I think that this quote sums up sort of the status of advocacy education in medical education settings at a variety of levels, um, sums it up quite well. Our profession has a collective discomfort with activism and or advocacy. And we traditionally have required physicians and physician learners to be objective and apolitical, consistent with my experience that I mentioned previously. The literature shows that there's little consensus about how effective advocacy curricula can be developed. Other literature shows that learners report being overwhelmed by the idea of advocacy due to the lack of time, the lack of perceived prioritization by faculty, and they report being frustrated by having mostly a didactic focus and presentation of advocacy rather than experiential learning. I think this quote by Abrams, which was given at a talk at Stanford University, really sums up how those of us involved with curricular development and working with medical students and resident learners, as well as postgraduate learners, how we should consider advocacy and activism. We should consider it as a fundamental pillar of the work that we do as physicians. Indeed, he calls it the fourth dimension of biomedicine. I focused my efforts in the fellowship on three different areas. Um, one was to build and pilot an advocacy workshop for University of Washington medical students. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. Two was to integrate the content that I had learned in the fellowship, particularly crisis communications, public narrative, and working with elected officials. Um, in my work as a faculty member for the Northwest Center for Public Health Practice, Public Health and Primary Care Leadership Institute. And three, I was delighted to be invited to participate in a breakout session as a speaker at the Doctors for America National Leadership Conference on sort of my area of interest and focus, which is um, working in carceral settings and decarceration. The advocacy workshop was for medical students who were interested in learning more about advocacy and 24 students participated. The following were the objectives. And in particular, objective three, students worked on creating their own public narrative and some students chose to share that with the group. Again, as this was a pilot workshop, the evaluation was very limited, but overall students felt more interested in pursuing advocacy at a variety of levels of their training, starting as a student and could imagine that later on in their careers. They thought that this content was useful to them as becoming leaders. 
and they commented on some of the most valuable aspects of the workshop. In the future, I plan on using what I've learned in the Capello Fellowship in a variety of ways. I plan on refining and expanding the School of Medicine Advocacy Workshop with colleagues at the University of Washington and also updating their advocacy curriculum content for the underserved pathway. Um, working with medical students, many of whom are here at the leadership conference, um, to co-create a School of Medicine Doctors for America campus group. I also plan on working with the Decriminalization and Liberation Subcommittee after the fellowship ends, and I would love to talk with others here at the leadership conference about how to advocate against the Educate Act. I'll leave you with one of my favorite quotes. Thank you so much, Doctors for America, for allowing me to participate in the Gene Capello Fellowship Program.